Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key are two very funny guys you might know from the comedy show Key and Peele. Okay, just wait, wait, wait. Let me get through this first. Now, they've built their career having a lot of fun spoofing stereotypes, playing with genre and identity politics. Oh, oh, we're getting just patience, wait. But the question is, can they actually stretch that act to an entire feature film? But they do have, yes, a very fluffy little secret weapon in their back pocket, an adorable cat named Can You. Now show the cat. Bro, it's gonna be okay. If you're right, Clarence, I want you to meet Keanu. Rel and Clarence are cousins and not the kind of men who repress their feelings. But when adorable Keanu is catnapped, the minivan driving buds need to thug it up. I'll take a white wine spit. Clarence, yeah. Clarence. Yeah. What? You can't talk like that. You sound like John Ritter all the time. You like, in the right place? Yeah, we're in the right place! Um, Tectonic. Nice. My name is Shark Tank. Now this is vintage Key and Peele. Maybe you've seen them on their TV show, spoofing stereotypes, changing characters and attitudes, and keeping us off balance with unexpected references. I once shot two dudes with one bullet, and I went to an exclusive early screening of the Blair Witch Project. You did? Yeah. Part of the pleasure is watching the two try and slip into the role of criminals, like here as they prepare to meet the drug dealer, Cheddar. Yeah, pop the collar. Uh... Yeah, right. that's what the kids are doing. Not really, but okay. But the other pleasure of Keanu is seeing two black characters afforded a level of sophistication and maturity in a comedy that's just all too rare, thanks in part to Jordan Peele, who also co-wrote the script. Eventually, it all goes horribly sideways. There are gun battles, gangsters galore, and of course, in the middle of it all, one ridiculously, undeniably, heart-meltingly adorable cat. But Keanu is more than a cat. It's also watching Key and Peele revel in genre films one moment and then subverting them the next. Sure, there are some dead spots in Keanu, but also some great bits like a certain ode to, yes, George Michael. Keanu isn't flawless, but it does prove without a doubt that Key and Peele belong on the big screen. In this industry where we tend to put performers in a box, they have their own refreshing brand of comedy. And that's worth three and a half stars out of five. Eli Glasner, CBC News.